so yeah so uh, today in this lecture uh, we'll be uh, i'll be dealing with economic operation of power systems so in this lecture the introduction of this particular chapter will be taken so the major objective of this lecture that are the different concepts that will be dealt in this particular lecture is as follows so first thing we'll try to understand the concept of optimization like what is optimization the basics of optimization and then we will study about economic dispatch what is economic dispatch and when it comes to economic dispatch we have two terms one is unit dispatch and unit uh, commitment so uh, so in this lecture we'll try to differentiate between uh, unit commitment and unit dispatch what is the outcome of unit commitment in the power system and what is the outcome of unit dispatch in the power system so these three concepts will be dealt in this particular lecture so starting with optimization so uh, what is optimization so as the name itself tells optimization is a process of selecting a best resource like if you have 10 resources uh, you have to select the best resource out of those 10 uh, while selecting the best resource there are certain conditions that we need to understand there are certain conditions that we need to uh, focus on so those conditions are given by the objective function or the constraints now uh, the definition is here given optimization definition the action of making the best or effective use of resources now when i use this particular optimization concept in a present uh, lecture that is economic operation of the power system here the effective use of resources now that resource is nothing but the fuel cost of the unit so we are making the uh, best use of the fuel cost or the fuel so that the total fuel cost is minimum so that is our uh, uh, objective behind economic operation so every optimization problem will have two function or will have two terms one is the objective function uh, the major goal of any optimization is either to minimize this objective function or maximize this objective function that will be the main goal of the of any optimization problem and it will also have certain constraints now the presence of constraints is not mandatory it is not that there has to be a constraint sometime some optimization problem may not have constraints uh, such uh, a problem we call it as unconstrained optimization problem now uh, in economic dispatch problem we do have a constraint so we cannot call it as unconstrained it is a constrained optimization problem so every optimization problem will have two part two types one is unconstrained uh, constrained optimization problem and second one is constrained optimization problem if there is no constraint then we call it as unconstrained now this particular constraint it can be either equality constraint or inequality constraint okay or it can be both there might be both the constraint both equality as well as inequality constraint can be present so it all depends on the problem formulation so coming to the power system here we are selecting how much each generating unit will produce so that the total fuel cost is minimum so that is the actual uh, problem formulation of a economic dispatch problem so coming to next uh, slide so here we have economic dispatch now coming to economic dispatch there you have two part one is unit commitment and unit dispatch so i'll explain this particular figure later so before that i'll go to unit commitment so what is unit commitment so unit commitment is for a particular period you have a load on the power system and you have some n number of generating units now you need to select those unit which can supply the given power demand and you should also make sure that the selection of those unit is economically viable so uh, like i'll give this particular example this is the load uh, demand this whatever figure you can say it is the load pattern in a given day so you can see initially a 
some amount of load will always be present that is your base load and these things we call it as peak load now you can see that from uh, 3 to 6 you have a minimum load and later your load keeps on increasing reaches a peak then again decreases again it increases reaches the highest peak and then it starts to decrease now if, uh, what we do here is we divide this entire time duration into uh, a range of time period you can the range can be uh, 12 to 3 that is 3 hours or 4 hours 12 hours it can be anything so we will be dividing uh, the x-axis into number of sections now in each section like if I take 3 to 6 a.m. as my one section we will decide which unit has to be scheduled or which unit has to be turned on clear and then uh, this selection of unit has to be economically viable so if you uh, uh, when you select it when you consider the fuel cost or uh, maintenance cost the startup and shutdown cost all this cost has to be included while selecting particular unit so when you may uh, when you select a particular unit and then calculate the overall cost then that particular cost has to be as minimum as possible so that is the uh, idea behind unit commitment now here you can see that um, 3 to 6 pm so according to some unit commitment problem if in case we schedule 1 2 3 and 5 unit then in the next time period you don't require the unit number 5 you need to uh, switch off the unit number 5 so in this particular time range you should also include the shutdown period of unit 5 even that has to be included some units may have high shutdown cost some units may have low shutdown cost or no shutdown cost so all that criteria has to be included during scheduling the unit similarly uh, in this time duration 9 to 12 uh, in the previous time duration you have unit 1 and 2 and in the next time duration you are adding one more unit so before adding the second third unit you should make sure that the startup cost as well as the startup time of this particular unit 3 will be economically viable as well as technically uh, uh, it should be log uh, the, the technically it has to be uh, no like it shouldn't uh, pose any problem the sh starting of unit 3 should not pose any problem so these things are kept in mind before selecting particular unit so this is the uh, entire concept behind unit commitment now once we have selected particular unit so if i say in this particular duration i have selected unit 1 2 and 3 the next problem is which unit will give how much amount of power so that is actual economic uh, dispatch problem or that is the unit dispatch problem so here you have certain demand and you have certain losses that you can calculate uh, uh, pr uh, prior to we know the transmission losses um, what will be the transmission loss in uh, the actual uh, in the power system so we know the transmission loss now we need to select the values of p1 p2 and p3 such that when you calculate the total fuel cost that is the sum of all these three f1 plus f2 plus f3 that has to be minimum now while selecting you also need to make sure that these values are so selected that they lie within this limit so if you select some value of p2 it has to be within this limit it should not violate the limits so these things has to be kept in mind so the values of p1 p2 p3 are selected in such a way that first thing it has to fulfill this expression the second thing it has to be within these limits and the resulting fuel cost at the end should be as minimum as possible so these things have to be kept in mind before starting with the economic dispatch problem now if i come back to this particular slide 
so this is the result of each uh, process so you have n number of units so after unit commitment for a given period you select the units which units to be scheduled and which units to be turned off all that decision is made and you select few units and after unit dispatch or economic dispatch or economic operation using certain uh, optimization problem you select the values of power generated by these units so this is the overall economic dispatch process thank you